Did you know that around 60% of full-term newborns and 80% of preterm babies develop jaundice in their first week of life? It's one of the most common reasons newborns need extra medical attention. Let's dive in to understand why. Welcome to Lazy Toddler Parenting Channel. Today, we're talking about newborn jaundice, a condition that causes yellowing of the skin and eyes in babies. Understanding it can help you take better care of your little one. Jaundice in newborns happens because of a buildup of a yellow pigment called bilirubin in the blood. This pigment is produced when red blood cells break down, and in newborns, their immature livers often can't process it efficiently. The condition is usually harmless, but if left untreated, severe cases can lead to serious complications, including brain damage. Here are some common causes. First, physiological jaundice, the most common type, happens because of immature liver function. Second, breastfeeding jaundice. This occurs when a baby isn't getting enough milk, leading to dehydration. Third, blood group incompatibility, such as RH or ABO issues, can cause rapid red blood cell breakdown. Fourth, premature birth increases the risk because the liver isn't fully developed. Two main types of jaundice, physiological and pathological, Physiological jaundice is normal and typically harmless. It appears within a few days after birth and resolves on its own within two weeks. Pathological jaundice, however, is more serious. It can appear within the first 24 hours of life, progress quickly, and may be caused by conditions like infections or blood disorders. Recognizing the type of jaundice is crucial for timely treatment. As a parent, here's what to look for. One, yellowing of your baby's skin, starting from the face and moving down the body. Two, yellow discoloration in the whites of the eyes. Three, lethargy or difficulty waking your baby. Fourth, difficulty feeding or dark urine and pale stools. If you notice these signs, especially within the first day of life, contact your pediatrician immediately they may measure bilirubin levels to determine the severity and recommend appropriate treatment. To sum up, newborn jaundice is common and often harmless, but understanding its causes, types, and symptoms can help you act quickly when needed. With proper care, most babies recover completely. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and watch our next video on essential newborn care tips. See you there!